Anne Feldman from the TT for T team, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to import a file from Google Drive into Explain Everything and then work with that file. Let's get started by tapping the Explain Everything app. You're going to tap on the plus so that you can create a new project, and I'm just going to select that first choice, that white template, and it drops me right here to my workspace. On the left hand side, going down that left hand side, you'll see that sheet of paper with the green plus. Tap on that to pull up all the kinds of objects we can insert. Today it's going to be a file, so let's tap on the File button. That will pop us in here where we can select to insert an object from a variety of places. If you notice down below, our choices are Photos, iTunes, Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, and WebDAV. Let's go ahead and tap on Google Drive so that your files will pop right in here. You're going to select the file your teacher sent you. So for today, it's called this vocabulary sheet right here, the spec vocabulary. That should pop up, and then you select the blue button, choose. Just tap it, and that will load the document here into your workspace. Now you can use all of the tools that are available to you here and explain everything. For this activity, though, all you need to do is draw a line from the word on the left side to the definition on the right. Notice your vocabulary sort does not fit all in the workspace. So using your fingers in a pinching motion, you can do a two-finger pinch to bring that size down so it will all fit in your workspace window. Now select your pen, and again if you do a tap and hold on that pen icon, you'll get a variety of pen tips and widths. Now you're going to draw a line from the word to its definition. Tap on your pen icon. Now again, if you do a tap and hold on your pen icon, you'll get other pen tips and widths. So I'll go ahead and pick one here. Now if you'd like this to be in color, you can go down to the bottom left corner and choose a color. So I'll just tap the first one there, the kind of red one. And now I'll look at the word inspect, and if I look down my possible choices, one says to look at carefully in search of flaws. So I'm going to draw a line from the word inspect down to its definition. Now I need to look at the next word, speculate. And I'll just tap on another color and then draw a line from the word speculate to its definition, and so on. Now if you need a lot of different colors, just tap and hold on one of those colors and you'll be able to choose and pick a new color for every single word. So that's all there is to bringing a document in from your Google Drive and then annotating on that document and explain everything. Done with your worksheet, then you just need to save the project. Down in the bottom right corner next to the little house icon, there's a button that has an arrow down and an arrow up. That is your save project button. So in here you can save your project, and I like to especially save them with your name and the type of project that you're working on. So maybe I would put down like Feldman vocabulary sort, something like that. Once you have that done, you tap the Save button and it saves that file. Now tap on that button again and that will pull up all of your projects that you have stored here on your iPad. Tap on that file name and now tap on Export To to your Google Drive. Now notice across the top you can export your project in a variety of formats. This one you saved as a PDF and let's export it back to your drive as a PDF. And I'm going to name it again Feldman Vocab and tap OK. Now it's going to create a PDF, upload that to Google, tell me it was successful and now I'll be able to find that back in my Google Drive. Not only is that file in your Google Drive, but if you happen to store it back into a shared folder, that's shared with your teacher, your teacher will be able to see all the work you did. So now you know how to import a file from your Google Drive into Explain Everything, how to annotate on that file, and how to save that file back to your Google Drive. Thank you for watching TT for T.